talk about Kevin Durant, who will one day be in the Hall of Fame, but not Ooh. last night, um, was ejected in his first game back after missing six with a rib injury. He picked up back-to-back -back text from referee Trey Maddox in the second quarter after complaining about a no call on his drive to the basket. I want you to put on your earmuffs, kids. Here it is. <laughs> I don't have the official, they, they did one of those sort of pool reports after the game. Yeah. I don't have it in front of me, but he basically said that KD hit him with a bunch of expletives and then instead of walking away, so hit what? him with more expletives. That's not, no, that, that, listen, you get hit with a lot of expletive mm -hmm. by these guys when uh -huh. they feel like, you know, they, they're not getting any calls and frustration does set in. He shouldn't have been ejected on this. If anything, the ref was wrong for this. This is a superstar player who's a champion and yeah, he vent his frustration. But the ref, give him a tech and walk away from the situation. Like, you know you have to keep this guy on the basketball court. Mm. You don't just tee him up twice like so, that. So wait, I'm no. curious though, how, like, like the, the vulgarity per word in those s statements was like every, it wasn't it was more than every lot. other word. We, we like, bleeped like, it out, but you can go on your friendly <laughs> internet. Foul. There was a B it. word, an M word, an technical F word. I mean, there was, there was they hit the whole rainbow. Foul, walk away, if he continue, if he follows you and continue to berate you, then you kick him out. But like, how bad is the vulgarity normally on a court? I mean, I sit courtside, but not as much as we used it's to. It's bad like that right there. Hmm. Especially when a guy is frustrated for not getting any calls throughout that game. Yes, he's going to vent his frustration it's, in that manner. It seems like part of the line with officials right now is, are you swearing near them or at, at them? them? Meaning, that like, was at, right. that was at am here. I calling you uh, such and such, such and yep, such? Yep. Or am I saying this such and such, such and such stuff isn't fair? Is Those it an adjective or things. a noun? <laughs> so I, I think that is maybe yeah. where the line happened to be last yeah. night. Obviously, though, the question with KD and someone asked him this on the mm -hmm. podium last night, and he, Ramona, he was vehement. He was like, "You know me. I'm not going to let this like get into my way yeah. in the playoffs. I know how to control myself." Do you? Every other agree team with is going to try to make him do this. Yeah, like this I, is what happens now when they know the officials have a quick trigger with you, and when they know that you are prone to fits of vulgarity. Why not? Like That's everybody's going to cool, try to provoke. That's cool though. Like the officials have to do a, a, a better job of, you know, managing these guys. I mean, we are talking about the faces, the superstars of this league. LeBron James gets thrown out of the game. Steph Curry gets thrown out of the game. I mean, these guys are class personified and they know how to control themselves. The fact that you give them two quick technical fouls and throw them out. No, well, you that don't speaks to like a relationship that. issue. Then, to me, it's like you don't get to the point where that trigger is that fast unless the relationship between him and the refs, the Warriors and the refs, has gotten pretty bad. Well, do you think, Ramona, that he's entered into Draymond Green territory when you say that opponents? Mm. Well, okay, I don't know. Don't That's another whole level. There with him. I mean, Come look on. At, Although I do love Sheed video, so yeah, keep running. Yeah. The no, I, what I used to do <laughs> now, obviously, hold it's, back. It's, it's hold been back. several times. I had a great relationship with with referees, mm. and I've, you know. Yeah. my frustration at them at times and I'll walk to them and tell them go check that at halftime go right. miss that call yeah. and they will come back to me and tell me no you didn't get fouled or you did get fouled my right. fault I missed that but that's how you handle those situations that's how you establish the relationship between player and well look and that that's kind of my point is that it it is sort of about that overall respect right and it's like anybody else you can say certain things to friends of yours who you know you respect them and they respect you and mm -hmm. they all, everyone knows you're joking or that you don't mean it whereas if it's a stranger they wouldn't know that about you right so you're right about establishing these relationships and I guess that's what interests me about what you said Ramona because look there are definitely opponents mm -hmm. who try to get Draymond Green agitated because we have seen it can result yes. in things that cannot I'll lose you a finals. Um, <laughs> do you think that that teams are now going to do that with KD? I, I, you think he's? I think with KD category? and with the whole, all of the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've been like this all year. I mean, they're, this is and they to the point where Bob Myers and Steve Kerr had to talk to the team about this. Right. And you know, maybe this changes in the playoffs, but things don't just magically change from the regular season to the playoffs. You right. can say, "I know how to control myself." Well, you just came back from an injury. Your team absolutely needs you. And by the second quarter, you're already out. We're right. talking about a regular season game, you know. Yeah. Playoffs really mean something. Yeah. That intensity just rises. That's up. right.